Introduction Students, today we are going to learn biotechnology and its processes. First of all, define me the term biotechnology. Sir, it is a technology that is used to modify products and make them useful for human life. Very good, Ashish. And what are the processes that we deal in the biotechnology? Sir, it includes uh, formation of artificial DNA. Well said. Does anybody know what DNA stands for? Sir, DNA stands for deoxyribonucleic acid. Well said, Mukesh. In this lesson, you will learn principles and processes of biotechnology. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you'll be able to Describe principles of biotechnology Describe construction of an artificial recombinant DNA molecule Describe tools of recombinant DNA technology Discuss separation and isolation of DNA fragments Describe cloning vectors Describe process of recombinant DNA technology Principles of Biotechnology Biotechnology is a technique that uses living organisms to make or modify products to improve plants or animals or to develop microorganisms for specific use. The two core techniques that enabled the birth of modern biotechnology are Genetic Engineering The technique of altering the nature of genetic material and or Introduction of it into another host organism to change its phenotype. Techniques to facilitate the growth and multiplication of only the desired microbes or cells in large number under sterile conditions for the manufacture of biotechnological products. Development of Principles of Genetic Engineering Hybridization is the traditional method used in plant breeding and animal breeding for the improvement of the products. Very often it leads to the combination of undesired genes with desired genes. Recombinant DNA can be developed by genetic engineering to overcome the limitation of hybridization. The host DNA combined with foreign DNA or artificial DNA is called as recombinant DNA. An origin of replication is a sequence of DNA at which replication is initiated on a chromosome, plasmid or virus. For small DNAs, including bacterial plasmids and small viruses, a single origin is sufficient. Larger DNAs have many origins and DNA replication is initiated at all of them. Construction of an Artificial Recombinant DNA Molecule when the alien DNA is linked with the origin of replication so that the DNA can replicate and multiply in the host organism. This is called as DNA cloning. Construction of artificial recombinant DNA. Plasmids are extrachromosomal DNA which can transfer the genes or DNA from one bacterium to another. They isolate the antibiotic resistance gene from the plasmid of Salmonella typhimurium by cutting with restriction enzymes. The isolated gene was linked to the plasmid by DNA ligase enzyme. This makes the recombinant DNA in vitro, that is laboratory conditions. This recombinant DNA was transferred to the bacteria Escherichia coli, closely related to Salmonella. The antibiotic resistance gene can replicate in the E. coli and multiple copies are formed. This is called as gene cloning. Steps in modifying an organism genetically. Identification of DNA with desired genes, introduction of the identified DNA into the host, maintaining the introduced DNA in host and transferring the DNA to its progeny. Tools of recombinant DNA technology. Restriction Enzymes 
restriction enzymes belong to a class of enzymes called as nucleases. These enzymes can cut the DNA double helix at specific sequences. These are of two types, exonucleases, endonucleases. Exonucleases. These enzymes remove nucleotides from the ends of the DNA. Endonucleases. These make the cuts at specific position with the DNA. These enzymes recognize specific sequences called palindromic nucleotide sequences in the DNA. Palindromic nucleotide sequences. It is the sequence of the base pairs that read same on the strands when orientation of reading is kept the same. The following sequences read same on the two strands in 5 dash to 3 dash direction or 3 dash to 5 dash direction. 5 dash G A A T T C 3 dash 3 dash C T T A A G 5 dash The first restriction endonuclease was hind 2. Steps in formation of recombinant DNA by action of restriction endonuclease enzyme. Restriction enzyme occurs naturally in certain bacteria and act as defense mechanism against virus. Each restriction enzyme cuts at a specific location, recognition site, where a particular sequence of nucleotides is found. The restriction enzyme E. coli has the following recognition site. G A A T T C C T T A A G This means that E. coli will only cut between G and A in this sequence. Step 1. A section of DNA with the recognition site for E. coli is provided below. Step 2. E. coli cuts the DNA strand at the recognition site between G and A. Step 3. The DNA strand is fragmented. This produces DNA fragments with exposed nucleotides or sticky ends. Other restriction enzymes, for example, HIND2, make a straight cut and produce DNA fragments with no exposed nucleotides. These fragments are called blunt ends. Sticky ends and blunt ends can be joined together by another DNA enzyme, ligase, in a process called ligation. DNA ligase is involved in the repair and replication of DNA. Ligases function to rejoin the DNA fragments in a process called ligation. The DNA fragments join together using the base pair ruling. The exposed nucleotides of a fragment of DNA are attracted by base pairing of another DNA fragment. The fragments are linked by the enzyme DNA ligase, which joins the fragments at their sugar phosphate backbones. If the DNA fragments are from different sources, recombinant DNA is produced. Production of DNA The production of recombinant DNA as a result of the action of the restriction enzyme E. coli and ligation is shown in the following diagram. The enzymes cut both DNA at the same size. After that, both DNA fragment can be joined at the stickly ends and it results in a recombinant DNA. Separation and Isolation of DNA Fragments Gel electrophoresis can be used to separate DNA fragments. Electrophoresis uses an electric current to separate different sized molecules in a porous, sponge-like matrix. The smaller molecules move more easily through the gel pores than larger molecules. Phil Sharp, Joe Sambrook and Bill Sajan developed the DNA electrophoresis technique using an agarose gel made from highly purified seaweed. The gel is submerged in a tank filled with a salt solution that conducts electricity. Using a pipette, DNA samples are loaded into slots made in the agarose gel. The DNA samples are colorless, but researchers add a blue tracking dye. 
This makes it easier to load the samples and visually track the DNA migration through the gel. The phosphate groups in the DNA backbone carry negatively charged oxygen, giving a DNA molecule an overall negative charge. In an electric current, the negatively charged DNA moves towards the positive pole of the electrophoresis chamber. The DNA molecules move through the gel by reptation, a reptile-like snaking action through the pores of the agarose matrix. Smaller DNA fragments migrate faster and further over a given period of time than do larger fragments. This is how DNA fragments can be separated by size in an agarose gel. Cloning vectors. A DNA molecule that carries foreign DNA into a host cell replicates inside a bacterial cell and produces many copies of itself and the foreign DNA is called cloning vector. Cloning vectors are the next important tools to restriction enzymes. Common cloning vectors are plasmids and bacteriophages. Following features are required to facilitate cloning into a vector. Origin of replication This is a sequence from where replication starts and any piece of DNA when linked to this sequence can be made to replicate in the next cells. Selectable markers In addition to ORI, the vector required a selectable marker which helps in identifying the transformants and non-transformants. For example, genes encoding resistance to antibiotics such as ampicillin, chloramphenicol, tetracycline, etc., are used as selectable markers. Transformation It is a process by which a DNA piece is introduced in a host bacterium. Cloning vectors. These are the sites at which the foreign DNA is combined. Insertional inactivation. Selection of recombinants using antibiotic resistance genes is a complex process. Therefore, an alternate method is developed. In this, the transformants, recombinants and non-recombinants are identified on the basis of their ability to produce color in the presence of a substrate. In this, a recombinant DNA is inserted in the sequence of the enzyme A-galactosidase. This results in inactivation of the enzyme and called as insertional inactivation, so no blue colors will be given by this type of bacteria. This indicates the recombination. Non-recombinants will give the blue color. Vectors for cloning genes in plants and animals. Some bacteria and viruses can be used as vectors for transforming genes. For example, Agrobacterium tumefaciens, a pathogen on several dicots, deliver a piece of DNA called tDNA and transform the plant cells into tumor and direct the tumor cell to produce the chemical required by the pathogen. The triplasmid from this bacterium now can be used to deliver genes of our interest into variety of plants. In animal, retroviruses can deliver their DNA into host cells to transform them into concerned cells. So, the retroviruses can be used as vector if the harmful DNA can be replaced by the genes of interest. Competent host for transformation with recombinant DNA. DNA being the hydrophilic molecule, 
So to pass it through cell membrane, the cell is treated with specific concentration of divalent cations such as calcium. The recombinant DNA can be forced into such cells by incubating the cells with recombinant DNA on ice, followed by placing them briefly at 42 degrees Celsius and then putting them back on ice. The other methods of introduction of alien DNA a micro injection and biolistic or gene gun. In micro injection, the DNA is directly injected into the nucleus, and in gene gun, the cells are bombarded with high velocity microparticles of gold and tungsten coated with DNA. Processes of Recombinant DNA Technology Recombinant DNA technology involves several steps. Isolation of the genetic material, DNA, cutting of DNA at specific locations, amplification of gene of interest using PCR, insertion of recombinant DNA into the host cell organism, obtaining the foreign gene product, downstream processing. Isolation of the genetic material, DNA. DNA should be obtained in pure form of the action of restriction enzymes. It is achieved by treating the bacterial cells with enzymes like lysozyme, cellulase, chitinase. DNA is intertwined with histone proteins and RNA. The RNA is removed by treating with ribonuclease while proteins are removed with protease respectively. Other molecules are removed by appropriate treatments and purified DNA ultimately precipitates out after the addition of chilled ethanol. Cutting of DNA at specific locations. Restriction enzymes are used on purified DNA molecules at the optimal conditions. To check the progression of a restriction enzyme, digestion agarose gel electrophoresis is used. The cutout gene of interest from the source DNA and the cut vector with space are mixed and ligase is added to prepare recombinant DNA. Processes of Recombinant DNA Technology Amplification of Gene of Interest Using PCR The polymerase chain reaction PCR provides exponential amplification of specific DNA sequences. The PCR requires DNA template Any source that contains one or more target DNA molecules to be amplified. Primers a pair of chemically synthesized oligonucleotides of about 10 to 80 nucleotides along with similar G plus C contents act as primers with direct DNA synthesis towards one another. Enzyme Two commonly used enzymes are TARC polymerase and the VENT polymerase. They can survive at 95 degrees Celsius for 1 to 2 minutes. Three steps are involved in this technique. Denaturation, melting of target DNA. The double-stranded DNA is denatured by using high temperature, 95 degrees Celsius for 15 seconds, to separate its complementary strands. Each separated single-stranded strand acts as template for DNA synthesis. Primer annealing. Annealing of two oligonucleotide primers to the denatured DNA strands can be achieved by adding excess of primers and the temperature lowered to about 68 degrees Celsius for 60 seconds. The primers from hydrogen bonds that is annealed to the DNA on both sides of the DNA sequence. Primer extension, polymerization. The DNA polymerase begin with polymerization process of primers to extend the primers 
results in synthesis of copies of target DNA sequence. Two enzymes are used called TAC polymerase and VENT polymerase. Processes of Recombinant DNA Technology Insertion of recombinant DNA into the host cell organism. If recombinant DNA carrying antibiotic resistance, that is, ampicillin, is transferred into E. coli cells, the host cell is transformed into ampicillin resistant cells. The ampicillin resistant gene in this case is called a selectable marker. Obtaining the foreign gene product. The alien DNA gets multiplied generally to produce desirable protein by gene expression. When protein encoding gene is expressed in the heterologous host, it is called a recombinant protein. To produce products in large volume, bioreactors of volume 100 to 1000 liters are used. Bioreactors provide the optimal conditions for achieving the desired product using growth conditions, temperature, pH, substrate, salt, vitamins, oxygen. Commonly used bioreactors are of stirring type, which is usually cylindrical or with a curved base to facilitate the mixing of the reactor contents. The stirrer facilitates mixing and oxygen availability throughout the bioreactor. In the stirred tank, bioreactor air can be bubbled through the reactor. A bioreactor has the components like an agitator system, an oxygen delivery system, foam control system, temperature control system, pH control system, sampling ports. Processes of recombinant DNA technology Downstream processing It includes separation and purification, collectively called as downstream processing. It undergoes clinical trials in case of trucks. The downstream processing varies from product to product. Did you know? Newborns die of genetic diseases before doctors even know what's to blame. Now scientists have found a way to decode those babies' DNA in just days instead of weeks, moving gene mapping closer to routine medical care. In just 50 hours, we can decode and interpret a newborn baby's genome. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Biotechnology is a technique that uses living organisms to make or modify products to improve plants or animals or to develop microorganisms for a specific use. Recombinant DNA can be developed by genetic engineering to overcome the limitation of hybridization. When the alien DNA is linked with the origin of replication so that the DNA can replicate and multiply in the host organism. This is called as DNA cloning. The antibiotic resistant gene can replicate in the E. coli and multiple copies are formed. This is called as gene cloning. Restriction enzymes can cut the DNA double helix at specific sequences. Recombinant DNA can be produced by the action of the restriction enzyme E. coli and ligation. Gel electrophoresis is used to separate DNA fragments. A DNA molecule that carries foreign DNA into a host cell, replicates inside a bacterial cell and produces many copies of itself and the foreign DNA is called cloning vector. Recombinant DNA technology involves several steps. Isolation of the genetic material DNA, cutting of DNA at specific locations, amplification of gene of interest using PCR, Insertion of recombinant DNA into the host cell organism, obtaining the foreign gene product, downstream processing.